good evening traders it is samurai trader here welcome to our market recap on the NQ for January the 16th 2015 we saw a fantastic volume flowing through once again this week has been incredible uh, and I think a lot of the flow through has been because of the, uh, the debacle we saw on the FX market with the Swiss franc is um, if you haven't caught up in the news there's been uh, some massive losses made there with some actions made by the Federal Reserve over there so um, times like that you need to be very very careful so that's one of the, the big advantages of course of being a technical trader being a day trader and particularly short term we're able to ride these shorts out and if anything these short term um, fluctuations if anything I think they're fantastic how we make money of course is we make money in volatility and we've seen some fantastic volatility for the last few days now what I wanted to cover today was uh, quite a number of our um, uh, trades particularly our, our cornerstone trade setup called the t1 the super scalper today for an example we would have had at least on the 133 tick chart at least 100 trading opportunities we have 12 trade setups in total one or two absolute core trade setups and let's have a look at the particularly the t1 and how we would have gone now over here we can see the market opened up uh, and off it went now between the uh, the left side of the screen in the right side that's only five minutes a lot of trading when you're trading the 133 tick chart the market can move extremely fast now remember that our setups work on all markets whether it be stocks Forex um, uh, or futures whether it's the ES whether it's the, uh, the European markets that the setups work on all markets now the majority of the time fortunately the markets react or the time frames that we're trading react in a much it's a much slower market so therefore we're able to get our fills however on the 133 I am buying at market so here we're going to talk about mainly about our trend trading opportunities and what I tend to find in the first half an hour 45 minutes you've got to be extremely cautious in actual fact I usually sit aside uh, because the market can move that quickly now what I'm after as most of my traders here know I'm after 11 ticks which is $55 my target each day is $200 plus per contract depends whether I've got another student here whether I'm training or whether I've got one of my corporate clients or whether I'm in the office or out on the road but generally my minimum target is $200 and with your high volume trading days on the NQ as I mentioned with all of our setups is just that, that many opportunities but let's get back to a key point that I talk to my traders about is focus and become a master on one key setup the T1 with trend is that key setup Aristotle said we become what we repeatedly do now what we tend to find is most traders and the traders I note and that I work with that have been failing in the past and where we turn around we totally cut them off from any counter trend trading if you want to make serious money particularly as a new trader stick only and have it as a, as a rule an absolute rule you only trend trade that is it so what actions or what are the action items that you need to be taking to turn your trading around because as we talk about regularly and in my videos in my training um, classes 94% of traders uh, actually lose money and lose their accounts okay so let's have a look at some of these with trend trades because that's what you're going to be doing if you're a new trader or if you've been struggling up till now forget the counter trends so we can see here the 89 period now we've got the, the equiline here that's our 89 period and remembering we're waiting for our zero lag to confirm the trade which happened on this particular candle this so this is not only is it an, a, a t1 but it's also an 89 bounce you could have 89 bounces as a standalone trading strategy so we come down bounce off we go now here you would have been out there with the 11 ticks for those traders that are going to trail the problem you've got when the market first opens here it's moving that quickly you don't really have a chance to trail your stops because it just it's flying here we had another bounce out of the channel we had another nice t1 
here by the way we had a divergence trade but it's moving that quickly if you're really quick you would have been able to scalp 11 12 ticks out of that but what didn't agree for a number of candles was your zero lag which is one of our key cornerstone um, uh, indicators that must agree with the trade and it'll keep you out of, out of a ton of losing trades what also gave us a good signal down here is our slingshot our t2 you can see here we have our long-term stochastic is well oversold our short term comes down and bang it pops up we had another one here and away it goes now the market is moving very very quickly we didn't have a t1 plot but we did have a t2 now right up the top here we can see here we're we're dropping right down to the platinum we're about to have a zero line crossover we're we still haven't rolled over on our uh, on our zero lag which doesn't happen really till about here we're well under for those counter trend traders uh, that is where you would have been in for a very very nice 10 15 20 uh, uh, ticks in that particular trade but let's get back to the trend trading here we come back down what do we get we get here another t1 signal that is the white candle pardon me we can still see we're in an uptrend with our very strong uptrend with our 89 EMA so therefore we're staying long in the market so we have another once again you would have romped in 15 20 ticks out of these trades today uh, here another t1 t1 now we're starting to roll over now one of the considerations or a really good indicator that we're going to have a turn in the market fairly shortly is when we start getting the t1 plotting in a counter trend fashion with a lower high we can see here we've got a counter trend t1 up here now we have a lower counter a counter trend and that's actually a trade setup that we call the t11 I trade uh, every one of those because they're fantastic trades and, and they're very very accurate that once again delivered well over um, 11 ticks if you were trading those back to the trend trades which as a new trader that is the rule if you're a losing trader you must master one setup as I always use the, the metaphor if you take a, a specialist surgeon who owns the big dollars your low your, your GP who sees lots of people for all sorts of things and that's your average trader if you like or lots of setups or the specialist become the specialist trader it's a lot easier to focus on one or two setups so here we've got a t1 again we're waiting for this green candle why I'm waiting for the zero lag to kick up which is what it's done here that is my entry signal you easily got um, uh, 12 15 ticks out of that move so now the market starts to roll over so what am I looking for besides the t1 the lower highs well here what I do I look down at my lower window I can see my the black line is my long-term stochastic when that starts to roll over I've got a crossing all of my MAs have all crossed my channel is turned down uh, it's really very evident we've got a change in trend uh, and here when you have your long-term stoke falling you see your short term pops up and turns over that's what we call a money on the floor trade some people call it a kachung trade and bang down it goes here uh, even though I don't have a t1 plot I've got a great down trend again here we've got a t2 that is a slingshot down it goes further down and right down here I've got it's a borderline t89 this is counter trend so um, uh, once again you traders don't take these I take every one of them because they're highly accurate but I want you to master one setup become epic I want you to become legendary as a trader and we do that wax on wax off wax on wax off master the one setup before you move on to another the t89 is a slingshot type trade where it's fallen away uh, we can see we've, we've got almost got a bubble we've got angulation right away from our 89 and bang they pop up these are a two to one risk reward you're going to get a good 20 ticks out of nearly all of these trades where they come through because you've extended so far away up the top here we've got an 89 bounce now by now our 89 EMA has rolled over as we can see here we're in a downtrend but notice my zero lag has not rolled over and I'm waiting for the color change 
this has actually kept me out of um, a losing trade here waiting for that zero lag now my stop is always two ticks above the swing high or swing low so here my stop would have been two ticks if I remember correctly that actually ticked up three ticks you would have been stopped but because I'm waiting for my zero lag to roll we can see here it is here you're in there or if you want to be really conservative you wait for your fractal here this is something that we cover off when we train you uh, you can wait for the fractal break if you want to be really conservative and bang a down it goes now what I'm looking for is another potential entry where is that let me mark it up live this is a trend trade what have I got I've got my short my sorry my long-term stoke has been oversold it's falling as is price my short-term stoke has come up and I've now got a money on the floor or a kitchen trade and away it goes thank you very much it was good for about 20 ticks now I've got another slingshot another um, sorry not the snapback I should say another t89 trade we've come down notice the angulation so let me just mark this up for you see that wedge that's formed in between the channel here and my 89 these are a fantastic trade once again new traders master these with trend trades first of all then you can move on to these and actually one of the questions that I've had sent through here what are my top uh, two trades uh, well it is the t89 and my t1s with trend down here we've got uh, divergence of course and I don't want to focus too much on that today so actually I'll, I'll give that a miss won't talk about that down here we've now got another uh, beautiful t1 my you can see here we're still in a strong downtrend we've plotted we're in on this candle and that's good for 15 20 ticks now let me move right along here and we can see here we've got another lovely t89 now with this particular case if I remember correctly uh, this candle just actually ticked up one tick so you um, uh, first of all you wouldn't have had an entry to begin with why notice my long-term stochastic has not rolled over so yes we've got a t89 setting up that ticked up anyway but you still would have been in the trade but wait just wait for your zero lead to confirm the trade you've got a t7 which is a double top you're in on this particular candle right there thank you very much good 20 30 ticks in that trade there we come on down and what have I got I've got a t11 which is a lower high formed by your t1 signal your super scalper when in training remembering on training you in all of these setups comprehensively and the training videos all online I go through all of these step by step but remembering as much as we have 12 you're only going to master one before you move on to the other otherwise there's a very very good chance you will fail don't do what the majority of traders do once again we're elite traders we're about modeling the masters they master their setups we're nearly out of time so let me just uh, have a look at some more uh, super scalpers here look at my anchor uh, MA good strong downtrend t1 short t1 short now uh, actually uh, t11 oh, that's right now here in this one uh, that's right we didn't actually get out till here so this particular t1 you weren't in because my 11 ticks didn't didn't deliver to down here so that one there you wouldn't have been in we go up we get another t1 by the way both of these are 89 B bounces see how they're bouncing off the 89 that's gone through my zero lag has rolled over and bang down we fall we've got another one here comes up my entry was here well, actually it was on this particular candle no it wasn't it was there and down it falls notice here we've got a lower high again we ticked up there for a, for a, uh, a higher low but then I've got a t11 love them and a lot of those and actually if it had have gone across here that would have formed your classic ABC setup 